BCL2, encoded in humans by the BCL2 gene, is the founding member of the BCL2 family of regulator proteins that regulate cell death, by either inducing it or inhibiting it. BCL2 is specifically considered as an important anti-apoptotic protein and is thus classified as an oncogene. BCL2 derives its name from B-cell lymphoma 2, as it is the second member of a range of proteins initially described in chromosomal translocations involving chromosomes 14 and 18 in follicular lymphomas. Orthologs have been identified in numerous mammals for which complete genome data are available. The two isoforms of BCL2, isoform 1, also known as 1G5M, and isoform 2, also known as 1G50-1GJH, exhibit similar fold. However, results in the ability of these isoforms to bind to the BAD and BAK proteins, as well as in the structural topology and electrostatic potential of the binding groove, suggest differences in anti-apoptotic activity for the two isoforms, like BCL3, BCL5, BCL6, BCL7A, BCL9, and BCL10. It has clinical significance in lymphoma. Role in disease, damage to the BCL2 gene has been identified as a cause of a number of cancers, including melanoma, breast, prostate, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and lung cancer, and a possible cause of schizophrenia and autoimmunity. It is also a cause of resistance to cancer treatments. Cancer occurs as the result of a disturbance in the homeostatic balance between cell growth and cell death. Overexpression of anti-apoptotic genes, and underexpression of pro-apoptotic genes, can result in the lack of cell death that is characteristic of cancer. An example can be seen in lymphomas. The overexpression of the anti-apoptotic BCL2 protein in lymphocytes alone does not cause cancer. But simultaneous overexpression of BCL2 in the proto-oncogene mite may produce aggressive B-cell malignancies including lymphoma. In follicular lymphoma, a chromosomal translocation commonly occurs between the 14th and the 18th chromosome is a euro T, 14, 18, a euro, which places the BCL2 gene next to the immunoglobulin heavy chain locus. This fusion gene is deregulated, leading to the transcription of excessively high levels of BCL2. This decreases the propensity of these cells for undergoing apoptosis. Apoptosis also plays a very active role in regulating the immune system. When it is functional, it can cause immune unresponsiveness to self-antigens via both central and peripheral tolerance. In the case of defective apoptosis, it may contribute to etiological aspects of autoimmune diseases. The autoimmune disease, type 1 diabetes can be caused by defective apoptosis which leads to aberrant T-cell AICD and defective peripheral tolerance. Due to the fact that dendritic cells are the most important antigen-presenting cells of the immune system, their activity must be tightly regulated by such mechanisms as apoptosis. Researchers have found that mice containing dendritic cells that are bim slash, thus unable to induce effective apoptosis, obtain autoimmune diseases more so than those that have normal dendritic cells. Other studies have shown that the lifespan of dendritic cells may be partly controlled by a timer dependent on anti-apoptotic BCL2. Apoptosis plays a very important role in regulating a variety of diseases that have enormous social impacts. For example, schizophrenia is a neurodegenerative disease that may result from an abnormal ratio of pro- and anti-apoptotic factors. There is some evidence that this defective apoptosis may result from abnormal expression of BCL2 and increased expression of caspase 3. Further research into the family of BCL2 proteins will provide a more complete picture on how these proteins interact with each other to promote and inhibit apoptosis. An understanding of the mechanisms involved may help develop new therapies for treating cancer, autoimmune conditions, and neurological diseases. Diagnostic use, antibodies to BCL2 can be used with immunohistochemistry chemistry to identify cells containing the antigen. In healthy tissue, these antibodies will react with B cells in the mantle zone, as well as some T cells. However, there is a considerable increase in positive cells in follicular lymphoma, as well as many other forms of cancer. In some cases, 
the presence or absence of BCL2 staining in biopsies may be significant for the patient's prognosis or likelihood of relapse. Targeted therapies, BCL2 inhibitors include IA, genazins, and antisense oligonucleotide nucleotide drug genazins has been developed by Gento Inc. to target BCL2. An antisense DNA or RNA strand is non-coding and complementary to the coding strand. An antisense drug is a short sequence of RNA that hybridizes with and inactivates mRNA, preventing the protein from being formed. It was shown that the proliferation of human lymphoma cells translocation could be inhibited by antisense RNA targeted at the start codon region of BCL2 mRNA. In vitro studies led to the identification of genesins, which is complementary to the first six codons of BCL2 mRNA. These have shown successful results in Phase I-2 trials for lymphoma, and a large Phase III trial was launched in 2004. By the first quarter 2010, Genesins had not received FDA approval due to disappointing results in a melanoma trial. Although safety and efficacy of Genesins have not been established for any use, Gento Inc. still claims on its website that studies are currently underway to examine the potential role of Genesins in a variety of clinical indications. ABT 737, in the mid-2000s, Abbott Laboratories developed a novel inhibitor of BCL2, BCLXL, and BCLW, known as ABT737. This compound is part of a group of BH3 mimetic small molecule inhibitors, which target these BCL2 family proteins, but not A1 or MCL1. ABT737 is superior to previous BCL2 inhibitors because this compound has higher affinity for BCL2, BCLXL and BCLW. In in vitro studies, primary cells from patients with B-cell malignancies are extremely sensitive to ABT737. ABT737 does not directly induce apoptosis. It enhances the effects of the death signals and causes single-agent mechanism-based killing of cells in small cell lung carcinoma and lymphoma lines. In animal models, it improves survival, causes tumor regression, and results in the cure of a high percentage of mice. Finally, in preclinical studies utilizing patient xenografts, ABT737 has shown efficacy for treating lymphoma and other blood cancers. ABT199, a phase ear trial is currently ongoing to study the effects of agent ABT199, a so-called BH3 mimetic drug designed to block the function of the BCL2 protein on patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Some very good responses have been reported. Others, Obotoclax has phase 2 results for small cell lung cancer. Interactions BCL2 has been shown to interact with Human BCL2 genes, BAK BAK1 BAX BCL2 BCL2A1 BCL2L1 BCL2L10, BCL2L13, BCL2L14, BCL2L2, BCL2L7P1, BOK, MCL1, LGALS7, see also. References External links, the BCL2 family database, the BCL2 family at Saldefter. BCL2 publications sorted by impact at caspases.org, BCL2 genes at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, CBCL2 proteins at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings.